everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehek. I hope you guys are all fine and like always, I also hope that you guys are reading. Back with the book that I finished reading for this week. It's called Strange Weather in Tokyo. It's by Hiromi Kawakami. That's how it looks. It's a paperback, bright yellow paperback. Um, very interesting story and just like the title, um, very different. Um, so coming to the plot, uh, our first character, her name is Kiko, Japanese um, name. She is someone who is in her late 30s, she's around I think 38. Her life basically revolves around her office work, she's a loner. She doesn't have friends and um, she seldom meets her family. She's someone who loves drinking so you will often find her sitting alone um, in a bar having cold beer or the famous, uh, you know, it's the alcohol drink in Japan is called sake. So she's often seen doing that. One day when she is in her local bar having um, her drink, suddenly she sees her very old uh, Japanese high, uh, teacher, high school teacher. And because she cannot recollect his name, she falls into the habit of... Um, um, you know, the old habit of addressing him as sensei. So in Japan, sensei word is used to address your teacher. So because she cannot remember his name, she refers to him as sensei. Now, um, you know, slowly uh, they both once the first encounter in the bar, sensei and skiko start meeting each other um, at this very local bar. Uh, a very unlikely friendship begin uh, between the two. Uh, they both keep meeting and keep sharing their love for Japanese food and sake. They visit museums, they even go for these wild mushroom hunting with the bartender of the same local bar and they commonly meet in the bar sharing a drink and just having conversations. Now, um, although people around them keep wondering if they both are together and if these are dates, they question themselves as well. But I think they strictly stick to this whole logic of that these are not dates. In fact, um, on most of the occasions, they will have these stupid arguments and they would end up not talking to each other for months. Um, talking a little about Sensei here, who is our old Japanese teacher. Now he is, they have an age gap of 30 years. He's, I think, 68. And uh, he is a odd character, I would say, because uh, obviously he's, the age gap and uh, he dresses up in you know he wears those old-fashioned clothes he's always seen with a briefcase in his hand um, he has this very peculiar habit of uh, keeping dead batteries with him and once in a while checking if they are working or not um, other than that actually both for Skiko and Sensei we don't know much about you know other than what I've shared with you much about their past life all we know is that both of them are loners they're not people who would go out and seek friendship and uh, for Sensei he has been because um, he has had a long life so he's obviously been married before uh, but it's been few years that his wife left him she actually ran away you, you come to know about why about that in the book but I will not share that it's for you to read but yeah so both of them are basically loners and um, in spite of the age gap, like there's almost 30 years of uh, age gap, but Skiko falls in love with uh, Sensei. She can't help it because she realizes, you know, while they're spending the time, while they're going and visiting uh, museums and sitting at this local bar enjoying drinks, she realizes that this is just not friendship and she's kind of found a solace in Sensei's companionship. Uh, whereas, uh, so she falls in love with him, uh, Sensei also loves her but he's kind of afraid of uh, uh, going ahead with it and obviously because of the age dying on her so that's his uh, major concern but uh, I think it's the loneliness that both of them go through that kind of draws them together in this um, strange unlikely bond of companionship. And uh, that's exactly and that's it what the plot is all about um, throughout. Uh, I mean, if you are someone who is looking for a read, which is um, a very short, um, light read and something that's not very plot oriented, like there's not 
a lot of drama or a lot of things happening here you know it's um it's basically about two people uh with a lot of age difference who meet at a local bar every day they're having conversations in a bar in a museum and they're just sharing their love for japanese food so there's a lot of mention of food like anime a uh, miso soup and of course sake and all those things so there's a lot of mention of the japanese food and that's it that's all the plot is all about um you know um some of the things are funny like uh, incidences are funny like uh, i mentioned that how sense is an odd character so in spite of them being in a relationship now uh, he still behaves like he was her teacher so he still behaves like one he will um, you know recite these haikus for her now so haikus are basically short poems in japan that's how it's referred to and he you know will uh, call if she forgets something he will call out to her for forgetting things that he had taught 20 years back in the classroom so um, you know when they're having those conversations and uh, so it's quite funny those some of those incidences and um, yeah so that's that's all on this book it's a very simple like i said not a very plot oriented book but uh, definitely a book that i would recommend to um, readers who like i said are looking for a easy no drama no fuss you know it's like japan uh, you know usually we read books about japan you know like clutter free and very simple and beautiful passages um yeah so that's all on this uh, strange moving wonderful uh, book very uh, different writing i would say yeah so thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed my review if you have read the book please share your thoughts in the comments uh, please don't forget to subscribe because that's how you will be updated with the reviews i share please i'm open to all uh, recommendations if you have come across an interesting book and you would like me to read and just share um, your recommendations with me in the comments um, i'm going to see you guys next week with another title till then take care bye